Good evening everyone, time for another member update. Sorry about the noise, I'm still working on office space and getting that problem solved. Uh, boy, the news today, Bitcoin Cash, unbelievable. It seems like Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin are actually swapping places, if you can believe that. Uh, I got involved with the trade today when I, it kind of hit me. I think Bitcoin Cash was like when it crossed a thousand. I can't remember what the price was, but I actually considered the idea that Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin could trade places. I know that seems insane, but that seems to be what's happening. You can see here Bitcoin Cash. Is it 1900? Uh, the the chart can't even keep up here. I actually bought some just on this breakout right here and covered too early. But I mean, you can see the move. We're almost at two thousand, two thousand dollars for Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin's down to fifty-eight hundred. So we're already over a third of the price. I mean, you can see how insane this run has been. Bitcoin Cash came from about 500 bucks just on, well, 600 bucks back on November 9th. It's almost 2,000 now. Now, the, the overall crypto market cap has not changed that much. You can see here on these uh, chart comparison, the top one, this is actually by... Uh, 24 hour volume and you can see the Bitcoin cash here. Let me do a refresh of this page Bitcoin cash here has got seven billion dollars in 24 hour volume and Bitcoin only has three billion dollars in 24 hour volume now here's another thing happening with Ethereum classic It's up almost 21 bucks uh, So there's some crazy stuff going on in the Bitcoin space, but the reason why I showed you this is We've been hovering around 200 billion, so it's not like money's flowing out of cryptocurrencies. It's just flowing around. Now look at the ex action at the exchanges here. Uh, look at the number one exchange in volume here, Bitthumb, at four billion dollars volume. Bitfinex coming in number two. Now look at when we look at Bitthumb. Look at what the volume number one volume leader is. It's 2.7 billion dollars, 2.8 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin Cash volume in KRW. It's the BCH KRW cross. So it's the Korean won. Korea is adopting Bitcoin Cash over Bitcoin. That is crazy. But that's what's happening. You can see Bitcoin 5,800, Bitcoin Cash almost 2000 and and it just keeps moving uh, I mean I've seen it move a thousand dollars just since I started watching it in the last couple hours so let's look at this story here Bitcoin cash surges as businesses abandon legacy Bitcoin Bitcoin cash is enjoying a new lease on life as major figures throw their weight behind the chain in the wake of the abortive SegWit split, neither Bitcoin nor B2X has prospered, with the latter failing to materialize and the former dropping below 6800 for the first time in 10 days. BCH, meanwhile, hit 866 earlier today. You can see that we're almost at 2000 now. This is how fast these things move. All aboard the BCH Express as the elation, anger, and acrimony over Segwit 2X has started to settle, focus has returned to the seemingly intractable problems of Bitcoin scaling and transaction fees. Now, speaking of transaction fees, uh, I transferred some Bitcoin over from my, uh, my Cryptopia account over to Poloniex because I wanted to do some trading. And I think I, I transferred, I don't remember how much I transferred, maybe 0.2 Bitcoin or something like that. Um, it wasn't a lot, but the fee was $6. So that is insanity to pay. Six. I mean, Bitcoin, it used to be pennies. And I have alt cryptocurrencies that I transfer that cost me pennies. And Bitcoin is costing $6. So that 
in my mind, it's the transaction cost that is, is causing this. And, and Bitcoin Cash, I don't know what the transaction cost is, but I, I, I know it's significantly nor, lower. I don't know exactly what that transaction cost is. But uh, I'm going to comment on just on the overall meaning of all of this and why I think ultimately all this is going to turn out to be a good thing for cryptocurrencies. But let's keep going with the article. Given the difficulty of attaining consensus for developments of the Bitcoin network, many have grown frustrated by the stalemate with widespread SegWit adoption and lightning network implementation still months or years away. With Bitcoin currently unsuitable for small transactions due to high fees, various businesses and public figures have expressed their preference for a cryptocurrency more suited to everyday use. For some, this has meant looking to the world of altcoins, where the likes of Litecoin and Dash beckon. For those keen to stick with Bitcoin, the Bitcoin brand, however, Bitcoin Cash looks increasingly attractive. One member of Open Bazaar team tweeted, Hearing lots of great things about Bitcoin Cash today, many developers and businesses seem better aligned with the new with the vision now that 2x has failed. The team running the P2P marketplace have every reason to be extolling the virtues of Bitcoin Cash. Having announced that they'll be accepting Bitcoin Cash on account of its cheaper fees along with Zcash. As businesses have wrestled over what to do with a legacy Bitcoin that's becoming increasingly untractable, the BCH team have wasted no time in wooing defectors, stating, quote, BTC's utility continues to decline. Watch as businesses adopt BCH. One public figure who has thrown his weight behind BCH is Pirate Party founder and Bitcoin maverick Rick Falkvinge, who declared, quote, With recent developments, I'm putting all available development resources to retool my software for Bitcoin Cash. I suspect I'm far from alone. He later added, I'm moving my development effort to Bitcoin Cash as Bitcoin Legacy now has hit a brick wall and needs to be dropped like a bad habit. I have no real reason to move the coins. One coin to rule them all. The Bitcoin Cash market has surged over the last 24 hours with volume exceeding 2.5 billion, 50% of which was trading against the Korean won. Much of the fevered interest in Bitcoin Cash will simply have been market sentiment fueled by growing consensus that the legacy Bitcoin chain is ill-equipped to handle growing volume. It would be speculative at this stage to suggest that Bitcoin Cash is gearing up for its own version of the flippening when Ethereum believers thought their coin might actually overtake Bitcoin to become the one true coin. Make no mistake, though, if Bitcoin Cash's most ardent supporters have their way, not only will Bitcoin Cash steal Bitcoin's market cap eventually, but it will also steal its name. In the wake of SegWit 2x furor, there were hopes that the infighting which had driven a wedge into the Bitcoin community would cease and work would cease and work could resume on infrastructure developments. Instead, the BTC BCH debate has ramped up with supporters of both chains adamant that theirs was the best Bitcoin. Bitcoin's legacy decentralized nature is both its greatest strength and its greatest weakness. The BCH team is wasting no time in rolling out network upgrades and implementing a clear roadmap. More than 1,500 businesses have all, are already accepting Bitcoin Cash, a modest figure, but one that is rising steadily. So there is the story. Now back to the market here. You can see Bitcoin Cash 1959 and rising. So we're pushing towards that 2000 barrier. You can see we formed up another rising wedge, a rising pennant. I can't believe I just bought in around a thousand earlier today. And we're already up to almost 2000. Uh, and Bitcoin they just seem to be moving in opposite directions. Uh, so money is flowing out of Bitcoin, flowing into Bitcoin Cash. Now that brings up a big issue of uh, places like Coinbase and a lot of these places that are connected to the legacy uh, system, uh, Bitcoin legacy system. So you can see here Bitcoin at $5,700 um, but you can't buy Bitcoin Cash here. 
And this is the number one place to buy Bitcoin, but you can't buy Bitcoin cash. What are they going to do? And what does it imply for the altcoins? Because virtually all of these altcoins are coded in Bitcoin. They're not coded in Bitcoin cash. You can see these alternative markets here. You've got a Monero market, small one, and an Ethereum market, and a Bitcoin market, and, and USDT. Uh, but you don't have a Bitcoin cash market. So what's that going to do to all these altcoins if bitcoin cash replaces bitcoin and the price of all the altcoins is quoted in bitcoin what's going to happen to all these altcoins so this is totally unprecedented uh we've never seen anything like this before uh you know if we look at this market cap here i think that bitcoin cash probably if it hasn't already is going to overtake ethereum in market cap so let's uh go by market cap here we can see yeah so bitcoin cash now is number two it has overtaken ethereum in market cap bitcoin is down to 95 billion dollar market cap and bitcoin cash is up to a 32 billion dollar market cap it's more than a third of the way it's almost 50 percent of the way this is this is stunning uh, information, uh, a stunning change here. And with that market cap of all cryptos hanging right at that $200 billion mark, you can see this is like the flippening here happening with Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't a true believer until today. And then I just right before I put on the trade I thought what if it could be true what if they could actually be switching places and we're gonna see because probably tonight if they will switch places uh, if if it keeps moving at this rate if Bitcoin keeps falling at the rate it's falling and Bitcoin cash keeps rising at the rate it's rising uh, we'll have a three thousand dollar Bitcoin cash and a four thousand dollar well five thousand dollar bitcoin uh will will be uh will be more than halfway we'll be uh, two-thirds of the way to the flipping and we'll talk to you next time